Well, greetings from Bishop Fenwick. Welcome back to another edition of Tuesdays with Tom. Today I come to you right below this beautiful image of Jesus who stands in front of this uh, picturesque mosaic with the words, Thy kingdom come, up at the top there. Today's gospel reading, Jesus teaches his disciples to pray. And of course, he teaches them the prayer that we all learn as children, the Our Father. So how appropriate that I find myself here today. So my message today, make it big or do it small. We all want to make it big, right? My message today, do it small. Today, 1889, we celebrate the birthday of Ian Fleming. Do you know who Ian Fleming is famous for directing both Gone with the Wind and The Wizard of Oz? Ian Fleming made it big. I think we ought to do it small. Our nation is amidst some really big things. We are living during a really big time. And certainly, we marked and mourned a significant milestone in our country yesterday. 500,000 Americans have died because of COVID-19. A half a million lives lost in this country. I saw something online that said, uh, was quoting that beautiful song from uh, Rent, you know, 525,600 minutes. 525,600 minutes. And the tweet said, really we've lost a person a minute. That song asked the question, how do you measure, measure a year? How do you measure, measure a year? How do we make sense of this reality, this year almost of COVID-19? Is it response like grief and pain, sadness and regret, emptiness and loss? Yeah, all of that's quite appropriate. But are we gonna give in to and give way to frustration and fatigue anger and resentment, selfishness or hopelessness. Well, no, we're not, <laughs> not here in Fenwick. And why? I'll give you my answer, because I'm gonna follow the lead of our students, your kids. I'm gonna follow the lead of our students, your kids, and I'm gonna try to do it small. And why do I say that? What do I mean by that? I think about Jordan Maurice, one of our seniors who gave a part of his Sunday earlier this weekend to do an interview with me and his mom for a story that I hope is gonna be shown on WGPH soon. He didn't have to do it, but he stepped up for Fenway. I think about a phone call I had just yesterday with the chair of the Peabody Chamber of Commerce. And she said, you know, what a great school you have. I said, why do you say that? She said, I just met one of your students this week and he's awesome. I said, who, who was he? Oh, I, th I think his name was Nick. He was such a gentleman, and he was so friendly, and he was so respectful. I said, oh, I know. That's Nick Caputo. Could have been a lot of Nicks, but I know it was Nick. Nick Caputo. I think about Zoe Elwell and Lauren Duranian. They couldn't play because of COVID stuff and the last hockey game of their winter season, and they were there behind the bench, and, of course, they're supporting their teammates. But what I didn't know, and I found out later because two people told me independently, was that as the photographer was coming in to do the game, and she's at all of our games, and you know that she has some trouble maybe with stairs and long walks and icy patches. What did Zoe and Laura do? They took time to help her with all of her equipment. Do it small, because it matters. And lastly, I think about the two students we recognize this week for Fenwick First, Lily Brown and Bobby Farron. And their teachers who nominated them didn't say, well, they're like superstars and this or that, or they, they, they've won this great award, or they've achieved this uh, you know, remarkable, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, goal. They just said they do the right thing every day. They have a smile on their face, and, and they really ask how other people are doing, and they really care when they ask, and, and, they, and they show a genuine, positive, authentic care and concern for those around them. They do the little things well. They do it small. So we all want to make it big. Fair enough. I suggest we do it small. Finally, John Quincy Adams, he actually died this day, 1848. I said, we're going to follow the lead of our students, and we will. And he said this about leaders. 
If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. We're really blessed that your sons and daughters are leaders. And I'm going to follow their lead. I think we all will. Have a great week. Take care.